easy to vote in Ohio, uh, that every single voter will have the opportunity uh, to vote from the comfort of their own homes, uh, that we have expansive voting hours, that border states like Kentucky, Michigan, Pennsylvania don't have early voting at all, uh, and we have uh, a standard for our military voters to make it easy and convenient for them to vote, and that should not be infringed upon. And the, the argument that the other side makes is you're allowing the active duty militaries overseas people an opportunity that you're not allowing everyone else and that that's unconstitutional. It, it's not? Well, of course it's not because federal law requires us to treat military voters differently. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, it says that we have to let military voters receive their ballots 45 days in advance that they can receive those ballots electronically, or that they don't need a postmark to return their uh, ballots via mail. There are all kinds of exceptions that we make and should make for military voters that we want to keep in place. Okay. That does it for me. Can I ask about this whole brouhaha over polling? No. <laughs> Early voting hours and... We'll be discussing that later today. There's going to be a three there's going to be a there's going to be a release. You you probably have one in your inbox. Three o'clock. I'm going to be holding a um, a discussion at three o'clock to address all those issues. Okay. And uh, Catherine Turser just sent out a statement asking Senator Faber to recluse himself from the discussion on this issue today because of his involvement in redistricting and his uh, apparent opposition to what they're trying to do. What what do you think about that? I think Catherine Turser and Senator Faber should work out their differences without my having to interject anything into it.